Community gardens continue to grow in popularity with new ones being established all over the country and older ones attracting more members and support. And I've come to have a look around Bifer Glades Community Garden to see how they're getting on. Well, they've got a really nice setup here. Plenty of space with generous sized raised beds Plenty of room for the community, and it's all starting to happen. The seeds are germinating, and the fruit, herbs, and veggies are starting to explode with growth. I love it. Looking at the soil in these garden beds, you can see that it's rich and fertile because they've added compost. And that's a critical part of growing your own produce, ensuring healthy, tasty crops. And the raised beds help with the drainage. They make the beds more accessible and more ergonomic. In a working garden like this, there's always plenty of activity. Look at them go. Sowing new seeds, planting new crops, transplanting, and these are all activities that benefit greatly from seaweed. In fact, seaweed's been used for thousands of years on crops due to its magical qualities, and it's perfect for a garden like this one, and yours. Sea salt is a natural plant tonic with multiple uses in any garden. It helps with seed germination, reduces planting and transplanting shock, and encourages strong root development and healthy plant growth. You'll also get better flowering and fruiting and increased tolerance to environmental stresses such as heat, drought, frost, and pest and disease attack. Now, it would be rude of me to come all this way and not give something to the community, and I've got just what they need, the magical powers of seaweed in a bottle. Sir, thanks for having us, Chris, and thanks for showing us around. I've just got something for you. Some sea salt. You can use it on all your edibles, all your natives, the whole garden. It's really good gear. All the instructions on the back, so there you go. Thank you very much. You know, no worries. Now, the garden's obviously in its infancy. What's the future? Uh, well, we started on stage two. Uh, got a few more community beds going down the back. Probably put in a chicken coop and a few more fr fruit trees. Yeah. And uh, maybe even a greenhouse and some aquaponics. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, good luck with everything. Thank you it's very much. It's really good what you're doing for the community. No worries. Thank you.